Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. You and them reading where we're going to be looking at your energies, your person's energies, and the potential outcome. Uh, this will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading though, so you'll know soon enough if this is your reading and if it will resonate for you. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. Spirit Angels Guides. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection. Let's start with you, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo's energies. This reading will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? For Virgo, what are their energies in this connection, Spirit? Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So either you're thinking about a separation that already has taken place or you're thinking about separating from someone here possibly this person tell me about this a person that virgo is dealing with tell me about this person that virgo is dealing with please spirit trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so your person is trying not to give up trying not to lose hope here what's going on in this connection going on in this connection spirit release your ex the time has come to release your energy what is going on virgo this is what's going on in your connection one of you need to release your ex and then have the situation involves marriage at the bottom of the deck does someone need to get out of a marriage what is happening what can you tell me about this connection spirit Tell me about Virgo's energies, please. What Virgo's energies at this time? I'm thinking about making this deck a physical deck. It's too many. Rather than, um, you know, that way it, I can offer it at two price points, something very affordable when you print it yourself, and then a regular deck. So we'll see. Tell me about Virgo's energies. Hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating. Someone's hiding their true motives here. Is that why there's a separation looming or why you're thinking of a separation? Or did someone, did you separate from this person because you were hiding how you truly felt or they were hiding how they truly felt about you? You could have initiated a separation or you are initiating a separation at this time because you caught someone doing something tell me about virgo's person tell me about virgo's person please unhealthy attachment toxic bound codependent this connection is an unhealthy attachment so things have become toxic it could also be that your person, Virgo, is in a separate attachment that's unhealthy. Now, Virgo, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them. Flip the energies if they resonate more for you. So what's going on in the mutual energies here? Tell me about the mutual energies of this connection, please, Spirit. Tell me about mutual energies, this connection. Burning passion. Passion, intimacy, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts. So there's something here I feel, some sort of intimacy between you and this person. However, there's an ex involved or something from the past in the middle here. We'll have to see what the tarot has to say, but that's what I see so far. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, Virgo, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Don't try to make this reading fit. If it's not for you, you'll know if it's for you. Some of it will only resonate part way. Some of it will resonate completely and some not at all. So just keep that in mind. No, oh no, my card. For Virgo, please. What is going on here? All right, Virgo, let's start with you. 
Tell me about Virgo's energies at this time. What can you tell me about Virgo's energies? Eight of Swords. What can you tell me about Virgo's energies? The Hermit. There you are, Virgo. So I feel like you feel stuck in a situation here or are overthinking about something. Trying to figure out what you're going to do next. Seeking answers here. Withdrawn. Tell me more for Virgo. It's like you're trying to figure out how you're going to get out of a situation or out of a of a feeling of being trapped. Judgment reversed. Your judgment must have been blocked when it came to a certain decision. And maybe you're evaluating that. Reviewing the past, how it all went wrong. That's what I see so far. Tell me about your person. Tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about Virgo's person, please. What are their energies at this time? October 2020. Regarding Virgo or this connection. Empress reversed. What else can you tell me about Virgo's person? Three of Wands reversed. Something's not happening for your person. They probably missed the boat on something or are very, um, have been waiting too long for something to happen or are becoming very impatient here. I feel like something hasn't grown for your person or they could be dealing with a difficult person here with the Empress reverse. Tell me more. For Virgo's person. Four of Swords reversed. Someone's ready to take action here. And then I have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So it could be that someone's thinking here about freedom. About taking action towards independence. Towards stability. So what can you tell me about what's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies here, Spirit? Mutual energies, please, for Virgo and this other person. What's going on in this connection? Wow, we got the world. A cycle closing for a new one to begin. Can you tell me for Virgo and this other person? So I see potential here for a whole new chapter. Wow, Nine of Cups. A wish being granted, wish fulfillment here. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy, broken commitment, and then I have the Four of Pentacles right after that. I just thought about money. So some of you could be dealing with a person, this could be you or your person, by the way, that needs to break from a commitment. I feel like for some reason I'm speaking to like two groups of Virgos. One of you, the first group, you both are in some sort of commitment and there needs to be something released from the past, past partner, divorce, whatever the case. I feel like you're, you both are in the same boat. For the second group of Virgos, I feel like one of you needs to release an X and I am leaning towards you, Virgo, because I have separation here on your side. Now remember, you're on this side for me because I wanna avoid confusion, but you know it could be flipped for you, so take it as it resonates. But I feel like for the second group of Virgos, you're the ones that need to separate and release someone for this to move forward with this other person. And this other person, I feel like, has been attached to you, to this connection, even if there has been nothing happening here. 
And whoever's in a commitment for the second group of Virgos, it could go for the first group as well. Whoever's in a commitment, it's in it for finances because they're holding on to something here. Saving money, trying to be smart with their money, etc., etc. So let's clarify. Let me clarify these energies, please, for Virgo. Let me clarify, please. These energies for Virgo. Let me clarify, please. Let's start with you, Virgo. What are you thinking about? What's the Hermit about here? Can you tell me about the Hermit? No, oh, I got two. Ace of Swords reverse, Eight of Wands reverse. No communication, um, blocked communication, blocked progress due to deception possibly here. I feel like you're thinking that you can't really move forward or something is stuck for you because you don't have all of the information or there's some sort of deception here with hidden motives up there. Can I get one more for the Hermit? It's like you don't want to make a move until you know something or until you like see something, talk about something. Two of Swords reverse, it's at the bottom. Page of Wands, you're trying to decide whether to talk to, to this other person, I feel. To, con to contact them, communicate, it's been a long time possibly. That nothing has, maybe you haven't talked to this person in a long time. It's like you don't know how this person is truly feeling about you or, or what they're thinking. Have they given up on this? What's this judgment reversed about down here? Why is judgment reversed? Ten of cups. I feel like you made a bad judgment call. Or your judgment was blocked when it came to emotional fulfillment. Maybe you didn't know what would really be emotionally fulfilling for you. Maybe your judgment was blocked. You didn't see something clearly. You thought it would make you happy. But I don't think that was the case. Tell me more about judgment reverse. Four of Pentacles reverse. This is about letting go. Giving something up here. No longer holding back. Tell me more about judgment. Reverse, please. For Virgo. Ace of Cups. Wow. New love. I have another four at the bottom here. Four of Cups. You're really thinking about something. It's like almost, almost, almost like... <laughs> It's almost like, yeah, and this has to do with maybe a commitment you're in here, Virgo, where it's like you, you're not satisfied either with your finance, your finances, your stability or your, or your family situation here, commitment. You're not satisfied is making you think of other things. Possibly you've closed yourself off to new opportunities because of this, because that's what the four of cups is about. Um, I feel like you, there is a real love for you. Like you have, when it comes to who you love, you already know who that is. And I don't think you have them. I feel like this person is a person that you truly possibly love, or this could be the person that you need to let go of. We'll see. It'll be different for everyone watching. This could be the person you exist like in a connection right now but you want a separation, or this could be a new love. Someone that you see yourself with. I feel like you know who you love. And for some reason, there's fear or some sort of decision you have to make about this. And I feel like that's at one point, um, what, you know, what has led you to this is that you've evaluated something in your past where you made a mistake where you didn't, your judgment could have been blocked. Maybe you didn't see the signs. Maybe someone was wearing a mask. If this is resonating for you, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating. 
Okay, let's see. Why is the Empress reversed here for your person? Or for this other person here? Why is the Empress reversed? Queen of Wands reversed. This is a difficult person. What's this? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, there's probably somebody here interfering. Something's not working. Tell me about the Empress reverse. Something's not manifesting. This person could be um, more of a controlling energy. Tell me about the Empress reverse. Now your person could be dealing with this or this is how the qualities that they have at the, at, at the moment. So they want success. Um, three of Pentacles at the bottom again. They want success. I feel like they want to build on something here, but it's not manifesting. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something here. Have the Magician, Seven of Pentacles, River. Something's not growing. Um, it's almost like this other person. It's very strange. I'm picking up that this other person here one success with you but perhaps there's someone in the way tell me more about the empress reverse tell me more about the empress reverse please the devil unhealthy attachment there it is capricorn energy bottom of the deck justice reversed maybe this is somebody that Hmm. Maybe on the outside, this looks successful, but it's really a toxic situation. For others of you, this is very strange energy that I'm picking up. It's like someone's still attached to the idea of success, but there's someone in the way. Why is the three of wands reverse here? Why is the three of wands reverse? The emperor, Aries energy. Wanting to take charge of the situation. This is too many, but ten of swords reverse, star reverse, page of cups reverse. So something here I feel hasn't worked out for this other person. They have been heartbroken. Um, they are still thinking of an ending here. Can I get one more please for this three of wands reverse and now they want to take charge of the situation the moon pisces energy maybe there's something that they don't know three of cups reverse at the bottom there's something hidden here this is such strange energy can i get one more for the three of wands the magician again all major arcanas this person's trying to manifest something here. I feel like they're manifesting in secret. It's like they're manifesting in secret about what they want to do. And it has something to do with a third party, something that's interfering. High Priestess Reverse. This is gonna come to the light. Or they're gonna speak up. This is such strange energy. I feel like I'm missing something. Virgo, if you're watching this and you're like, I know what you're missing, tell me in the comments. <laughs> because I feel like this isn't as simple as I like am seeing here. For some reason, I feel like this Queen of Wands reverse is someone else. But then I have a six of wands and a, the devil. So it's like someone appearing successful or winning or overcoming a challenge. And then I have the devil. So there's like an attachment here that's unhealthy. Which I have unhealthy attachment up there. So that's what I know that's the message. But because of this, like, I feel like something's not growing, not manifesting with the Empress reverse. So it's almost like there's an unhealthy attachment here 
that's keeping something from manifesting. So someone's going to be manifesting something here. Tell me about the magician. What's, what are they manifesting here? Ten of Wands reverse came out kind of in limbo. Dropping a burden here. Cutting something out with the Queen of Swords. Okay. So let's look at this world. What's this world about? The Hierophant. What's this world about? The Tower. What? So in order for there to be a new cycle, there's something that's going to happen with a commitment that might be a shock, a surprise, a blow up, <laughs> something unexpected here with a commitment. Seven of Swords. Maybe there's deception in a commitment. Maybe someone gets caught. Why is the Nine of Cups here? What's the Nine of Cups about? Five of Swords. What's this Nine of Cups about? Seven of Cups reverse. Two. So someone's worried about a choice. Uh, there, it's going to be a difficult choice that someone has to make in order to get their wish fulfillment. And there's going to be a, an exchange. There's going to be a loss in order to make, to get this wish. I feel like someone's ready to, yeah, this has to do with a separation. There's going to be a loss here with a separation. Could be financial, could be children, could be something like that. Yeah, someone walking away from a separation here, walking away from a partnership. They're, they're dropping um, one of these pentacles here and the choice has been made. However, with the five of swords, I feel like there's some sort of loss here. Can I get one more for the nine of cups, please? Get one more for the Nine of Cups, please. Yeah, Two of Pentacles reverse. Page of Pentacles at the bottom. See what I'm seeing here? To get us some sort of opportunity here, there's there's still like pain right after. There's something that's not going to be perfect. So what I'm seeing so far here, Virgo, is I'm seeing that I don't know who this person is. This, this person that we're talking about in this reading, I feel like it's not very clear to me as a reader because I'm talking to two very different groups of people. For the first group of people, this person is someone you are currently in a marriage with, possibly, or a long-term commitment. They're trying to manifest something that is in like secret or, you know, something like that where they have to drop some sort of a burden um, I feel like this with the devil here, I feel like this is an un unhealthy manifestation for that first group of people. For the second group of people, if this is a person that you haven't been able to stop thinking about, someone from the past that for you would be new love, this person is trying to manifest a successful connection with you. However, they know there's an interference and it's almost like they know that they can't manifest something until that interference is dropped. There could be an unhealthy codependent um, connection here or something where like your person, even though uh, you haven't communicated or you haven't had anything with them, they're still attached to you in some way, whether you know it or not. I don't think you do because there's the moon here with the magician. It's almost like this person hasn't given up even though there was a missed opportunity or even though a lot of time has passed. So there's two different people here. Take it as it resonates for you. Now what I see here in the mutual energies is I see that someone will get their wish fulfilled here. Their emotional fulfillment will happen for them, but it's going to be a trade-off. There's a storm brewing here with a commitment. Whether it's your commitment with group one person or <laughs> whether it's the commitment you have on your own in order to be with group two. I hope I'm not confusing you, but it is what it is. So let's look at the potential outcome here. 
Now, I'm going to be clarifying, I'm going to be pulling some cards here in this video for the potential outcome, and then I'll be clarifying the outcome in the extended. I'll be looking at your person's true intentions. I'll be pulling some secret moon oracles. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about you or the connection? And what advice does spirit have for you? So if this is resonating for you and you'd like to check out the extended, check out the link in the description box below this video. So let's see, what's the potential outcome here for the near future spirit? Potential outcome here. in the near future for Virgo and this other person. Wow, we got the Knight of Cups. An offer of love, um, expression of genuine feelings or emotion here, an apology possibly. Tell me more, what is the potential outcome here for the near future? Potential outcome, please. For Virgo and this other person. Seven of Cups, a choice, options being evaluated, thinking about what choice to make here. The Seven of Cups is all about making the right choice. Someone's thinking about making the right choice. Tell me more for Virgo. Potential outcome here, spirit, in the near future for Virgo and this other person. The hangman. Seeing things from a different angle, not really moving. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Wow, five of cups. This is you, Virgo, evaluating the past, this person on this side here. Evaluating the past, maybe missing uh, someone, um, regretting choices that were made here. And I feel like the past choice kept you or tied you up in some way. Obviously, there's some sort of message coming through here, um, either an apology or an expression of love. And I feel like someone's also, it's almost like I see two different conversations. Like the, if it's an apology, someone's going to apologize for the wrong choice. I made the wrong choice. It, I'm stuck. I've been missing you all this time. I regret it, you know. This is an expression of love. I feel like someone's thinking about the exact way to communicate this the right choice in communicating this we'll see when i clarify in the extended but that's what i'm seeing off the bat here um they're gonna say you know i see things differently now but regardless of which group you're in there's some sort of conversation happening thank you so much for watching for your likes, shares and subscribes and take care